In today's episode, I'm asking the question, do we really need a story mode in Skate 4? So follow along and let's talk some skate. Welcome back to another episode of the Hippie Jump Podcast, a podcast all about the video game franchise Skate. I am your host, William, and I'm back. I know it's been like two months since I've made an episode, which is definitely way too long. Uh, Things just kind of got away from me and, you know, real life got in the way. Also, on the other hand, I mean, it's the holidays and the video game industry kind of slows down a lot during that time. And... The skate team wasn't doing too much, there wasn't really news going around about skate, so there wasn't a lot to talk about. There was another boardroom episode that happened while I was gone, Uh, it was the second episode and it was about 15 minutes long. While it was a really cool episode, there just wasn't a whole lot of news in it, there wasn't any big reveals or they didn't really tell us anything that we didn't know about the game. They did dive really deep into gameplay stuff, gameplay mechanics, and like mocap, all that stuff, like all the technical side of making a skate game, they really dove deep into that. And it was really cool, but there was nothing really to report on, Um, but it is a really cool episode. If you miss that boardroom, I would suggest to go check it out for sure. I did have two big takeaways from that episode though, one of them being that Fun City was basically just like a decoy map. Um, They completely scrapped it. All the leaked gameplay you've seen, that world is just like out the window, basically. It was just a test map, which I think is really cool because, you know, we saw a lot of gameplay. There was a lot of people making content around this leaked alpha and it seemed like we were getting spoiled on a lot of stuff, but that world actually was not the world at all. It's not even going to be in the final game, it seems like. So I'm actually pretty happy that they confirmed that. I think that makes things a little bit more exciting again. The other takeaway I had is they said Skate is being built to last like 10 plus years, which is insane to me. I mean, they already confirmed that Skate was going to be the last Skate game in the series. They already said they don't plan to continue on, like this is going to be the definitive Skate and it's going to live on and on, but they never really said like how long. So I guess really their goal is to drag this game out as long as they possibly can and it seems like they're aiming for over 10 years which is really exciting, that's that's interesting. I think that'll actually really work because there's still such a community around Skate 3 after all these years so I think it would translate into the new game as long as, you know, everyone likes it. But those are my biggest takeaways from the boardroom, that's kind of why I didn't make an episode, there just wasn't too much noteworthy stuff. One more thing before I hop into today's topic, Xbox Game Pass is giving away some Skate 3 DLC right now for all Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members, so definitely make sure if you're an Ultimate member, go claim that stuff if you don't have all the DLCs. It's a bundle that comes with Danny Way's Hawaiian Dream, the Sand Van Party Pack, and Time is Money Pack, and I know personally Danny Way's Hawaiian Dream is my favorite Skate DLC ever. I think it's most people's, so that map is definitely worth checking out, especially for free if you've never played it. This bundle is available till February 14th, so definitely hop on that. Also something interesting to note is there is a playtest happening next week. Uh, It is still for PC only, so keep an eye out for maybe a playtest highlight like they've been doing maybe next month in February, I would assume. Something like that's gonna come out. Hopefully we get a new boardroom in March. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I don't think we're gonna get one in February, but I mean, I don't know. I, it's entirely up to the skate team, so. But enough about all of that. Let's jump right into what I wanna talk about today. I am asking the question, does Skate 4 really need a story? And I want everyone to put your opinions in the comments because I know you immediately are like, what, is this guy stupid? Like, of course it does. Like that's so dumb skate always has a story stuff like that and i mean i agree with that i've been on the same wave skate 4 needs a story it needs a story but they haven't confirmed if we're gonna have a story or not in this new game if we do it'll probably be different than what we're used to because it is a free to play online game but regardless we don't know what we're getting and i was thinking if we didn't have a story 
what are we really missing out on? So let's think back on what story was in Skate. Pretty much every game starts with you building your way up from nothing to something and you know getting sponsors, brands, contests, all that stuff. All the games kind of do it the same, just in different ways here and there. Skate 3 I think definitely deviates the most and does more different stuff especially with creating your team but for the most part the games are similar you know you're just building your way up making money or selling boards like in skate 3 but when we say story if we're talking about like an actual story there really isn't a story like the most story rich parts of those games are honestly the intro videos that is where you're getting your backstory, that's where you're first seeing your character, that's where everything starts off. It's basically your introduction into what the game is. For example, in Skate 1, you get hit by a bus, you come out of a hospital, you get back on your feet, and then you work your way up. Skate 2, it's very similar. You get bailed out of jail, get back on your feet, and you work your way up. You get sponsors, photos, videos, all that sort of stuff, contests. In both of those games, you're just working your way up from basically being down in life, pretty much. <laughs> Skate 3 had less of a story intro. Skate 3 was more showing off board production and like a whole, like what a board goes through from the beginning stage to the very end, which obviously is telling you what exactly this game is gonna be. It's all about selling boards. And then at the end of the intro video, you see your character jump in the shark and somehow you don't die. Don't know how that works. He Not only did he not think that through, he may never think again. He blew his face out. And then you wake up and Red is there and he's like, yo, you good? And then you get back up and you start selling boards. Like nothing happened. So if I'm thinking about story, that's the most story stuff we get in Skate. Of course, throughout the game, you get to meet pros and there's minimal cutscenes and they get to say a few things to you, but your character never speaks. So there's not much going on there. It's basically just a pro telling you what to do. If you really think about it, at the end of the day, if you take the cutscenes out of that game, the game is basically just challenges. I mean, that stuff kind of just disguises all of the challenge lists. That's basically all it is. It's pretty much the same as like an old Tony Hawk game where you just have a list of challenges that you have to do. Of course, Skate has way more original challenges and mechanics and stuff than just getting high scores or stuff like that. They definitely know how to keep it fresh and interesting. So I think even if the new game didn't have the cutscenes or pros, I think the challenges themselves or the goals that you need to hit or the missions, whatever they call it, are still going to be interesting enough to keep people playing. It's not just going to be kickflip a wall or grind a rail, stuff like that. I think they'll get really creative with what they're doing. I think a really good example of a game like this is the recent Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 remake, where you do have challenges where you need to do high scores and get the letters and stuff, but every level has unique challenges dedicated to it. For example, like on school, you need to wall ride five bells throughout the level warehouse obviously you need to break boxes and there's things like that throughout the whole game i think those type of challenges keep the game interesting and i think skate is full of stuff like that so even without the pros and the cutscenes and the story stuff i think that would still work i think a bad example of no story but challenges in a skateboarding video game is skater xl don't get me wrong i love skater xl i've put a lot of time into that game I think it's a good skateboarding game at its core, but obviously there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I'm not even going to get into that stuff. But if you play Skater XL, just vanilla Skater XL, there is challenges in that game, but they're so uninspired and they don't push you to go anywhere, do anything. It's just like, do this line, do this trick. It's a really poor job of having challenges in a skate game and trying to make it fresh and interesting. It's kind of why, you know, I don't think most people complete all those challenges and if you're playing Skater XL, that's really not why you're playing it. You're playing it because you want to skate sim. But I think Skater XL challenges and the way they handle that is exactly what Full Circle and Skate will not do. <laughs> 
So I don't think we have to worry about that. I just wanted to use that game as an example. So I think really if you pull away from it and you look at a skate game in its entirety and you're like, what story, what isn't, and you take those story elements out, I think you still have a great game because there really isn't much story there. Now I am one of those people, I do want a traditional just skate title exactly how they've always been. I want the cutscenes, I want to meet the pros, I want all of that stuff. But if we are not to get it, I really don't think it's the end of the world. But it's one of the biggest concerns I've seen in the skate community. I mean, I see it everywhere. If you even go on the recent boardroom that I was talking about earlier, scroll through those comments. I think the top comment is about a story mode. Most comments on there are like, is there a story mode? Where's the story mode? And I just, what story mode are we seeking as a community, you know? When I think of a skateboarding game with a story mode, I think the king of that is Tony Hawk's Underground. That game actually has a story. There's actually twists in that game. There's character development. That is a story. Of course, it's just disguising a bunch of challenges, but that story actually keeps you hooked. There is a story, there's a narrative throughout the whole game, and you actually have some emotions. You get angry when a character flips on you, stuff like that. All, it, there's so much drama for a skate game. I think Tony Hawk's Underground did it perfectly, and Skate really has never done something like that. But I don't think all these people in the community talking about a story mode are asking for something like Tony Hawk's Underground, because that's never what Skate was. I personally think we will get the story mode people want. It just might not be the same. But we are for sure getting challenges throughout the world, and I'm sure there's gonna be dialogue and some characters throughout the world. I don't know to what extent, but it's, I don't think it's just gonna be empty world and you just pull up to a challenge. There's no voice lines, there's no characters. I don't think it's gonna be like that. But I did wanna come on this episode and kinda of talk about that and honestly play devil's advocate. Is it really that bad with no story? I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment below, tell me if I'm crazy. Uh, tell me if I'm way off. I don't think I am, but if I am, totally let me know. I mean, how do you feel? How would you feel, really, if you turned the game on and there was no pros and no talking, no narrative, but you still have that world of challenges and there's still characters. It's just not the exact same. Also, I think we still can and will have a story intro video. And I think it'd be perfect because it could tie into tutorial missions and kind of teaching you the mechanics of the game, getting you ready for that big open online world. The first like two hours of Riders Republic has a little bit of story here and there, some cutscenes, an intro, and then it kind of just throws you into the world and that's kind of the game. I think Skate could do the exact same thing and there is a perfect story right there. If we do get a story, full circle, listen up. I've been thinking about this, I'm just saying, you don't have to pay me. But look, it's been 10 years since the last gay game. The story writes itself. The game starts off black screen. You start hearing Retta talk. He's like, yo, dude, you good? There's a camera in your face. You wake up. He's like, yo, you've been in a coma for 10 years, bro. Like, what's going on? It writes itself. You've been in a coma. That's why there hasn't been a skate game. You're up. You're awake. Time to start skating. Take over the world, whatever. Everything like that. <laughs> If there is a story, I think that would be such a great way to do it, but I don't know. I mean, maybe they won't do it like that. That's very specific, <laughs> but I think it would work. But of course, let me know what you guys think so I can reflect on your comments in the next episode. Uh, I definitely want to keep making more episodes. I know I've been away for a bit, but I want to get back on the grind. And also, I have a PC now. I have a capture card now, so maybe I'll start playing some skate. If you made it this far into this video and you would be interested in seeing me play some skate. I'm not good, but we could play through a game or something. Let me know if you guys would want to see that. But that's all from me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and go play some skate. <laughs>